Rolling up and down the fingers. And the pads of the pinky. And the thumb. Down to the wrist. Up to the knuckles, across. And take the ball into one hand and squeeze. And then the other. Back to the first. And then the other. And let's go around the back. And good morning, team. Switch. And switch. And switch. Switch one more time. Engine the waist, go through the legs. Switch. Switch. And switch. Put the ball on the floor. Assess. How the feet feel, ankles, knees, hips. Step on the ball in the middle of the foot, press down three times. Up to the knuckles, once on each. Roll across the knuckles. Roll across the top of the heel. Press just below the first knuckle at the side of the top of the heel and in the middle of the fifth metatarsal. Roll down the bones. And scribble. Three, two, one, release, reassess. Repeat, other foot, three times. Knuckles. Roll across. Roll across the top of the heel. Press just below the ball of the foot at the side of the top of the heel. And in the middle of the neck cross. Roll down to the bones. And scribble. Three, two, one, release, get the ball out of the way, reassess, and shake the tree. Three, two, one, the center. Twist it the way, swing the arms. And center with ocean wave breathing.
fingers and thumb at the base of the spine. Step out, gather and start up. And center. Yeah, look from the other direction. Uh, let's take some steps forward. And knee to the opposite elbow. Left the opposite heel in the front. And behind. And then take a cross step and twist in a punch. And then walk. March or jog. So today we're going to do the standing leg and core exercises. No spots. We're going to do those. Maybe I should. Don't want to do them, but I will. Yeah. And uh, whatever you do, get the heart rate going. Be safe. Continue doing what you're doing. And if you'd like. We'll have five Tibetans after class. And we're going to get going in five, four, three, two, one, two. Then And thirty two breaths. You interlace the fingers, bring the hands up overhead. Come up on your toes if you can. And come on down, bend back if you can.
Come back to center and bend in one direction. And then the other. Come back to center, drop the hands to the chest, push out. Yeah, come on down, interlace the fingers behind the back, raise the hands up, squeeze. Go a little higher. Yeah, come on down and swim. Do a backstroke. And a breaststroke. And you extend the arms, tap the shoulders. And bring one arm across, press in. And then the other. First arm behind, press down and in. And then the other. Or the W, squeeze the shoulder blades together and hold. And release. Squeeze. And release. And squeeze. And release, grab both elbows, rock side to side. And come on down with the hands and rotate them. Go the other way. And nod. Go ear to shoulder. Up to center, bring one hand over the top of the head. Look up, chin up, hug gently. And chin down, look down. Back to center, same thing the other way. Looking up. And up. Yeah, let's do a side lunge. Go the other way. Yeah, 
And come on back and grab a seat. I'm going to put one leg out in front, the stick behind it. Slide down the stick, raise the sole of the foot, and wiggle. And then press the sole of the foot against the stick. And then repeat with the other leg. And now the sole. All right, come back to center. We're going to do the booyah stick routine. Some flip flops, wrists, and then some big circles out. Go the other way. Lateral. Switch directions. And then bring the stick behind you in the click of the elbows and twist it to waist. If you can, lean back. Otherwise, keep twisting. And come on back to center, tuck in the chin, peck like a pigeon. And then bring the stick up to the shoulders. And twist the body, keep the head and hips facing forward. And then bring the stick up over the head, down below the waist, up over the head, behind you if you can. Stop at the shoulders and push out. And then bring the stick down, hold on at or near the top and swing behind. Switch to the other arm and repeat. And then bring the stick to the front, step back, feet are about shoulder width apart. Hold on with two hands, one hand or a finger or two at the top. Dig your toes into the ground, come back on the fifth metatarsal and hold. 
creating a big arch. And then we'll rock towards the first metatarsal, back towards the fifth, back and forth. Keep those toes pressed towards the ground. Three, two, and one. Bring the stick to one side, come up on the toe of the other foot. You can lift the foot and move it around. And if you feel like it and can, lift the stick and move that around if you can. Go only as far as feels safe for you. Three, two, one. Bring that stick down on the other side, on the toe of the other foot. Same thing. Three, two, and one. Lift on down. If you want, you can hold on to the stick for the uh, leg exercises. We're going to be doing kicks and things like that. Or stay next to the wall or a pole or a chair or a desk. Whatever works. All right, we're going to start with some forward kicks. Same leg, do about 10. Only go as high as feels safe. And the other foot. Then we're going to kick straight back, keeping the knee locked. On the leg. And then some lateral kicks, same leg 10 times or so. All right. And then you're going to come across and tap and go back and we're going to alternate. And some butt kicks. And 
Hip rotations, same side about 10 times. Other. And then knee to the same side elbow. Don't have to touch. Others? And then you can continue to do that or cross your arms and go to the knee to the opposite elbow. And then take some recovery breaths. Excellent. We're doing ox breathing. Four in, through the nose, up through the belly to the chest. Four hold. Exhale either through the mouth or the nose for four. And hold for four. We're going to do seven rounds. Try to keep the ratio even if my pace is too fast or too slow for you. And you have to do six or eight. Whatever. Here we go. Last one. And then rub the hands together, cultivate chi. Form a chi ball. Center, two breaths. Let's open our hearts.
Pause on the inhale, exhale. In the out. And center with two breaths. Bring down Chi from above. And gather it from below. And, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Namaste. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nina. Have a good Thanks. day, night, you evening. Too. Yep. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Have a great day. All right. Thank Take you. care. Eva, Bill, good to see you. Same. Sarah. Thank you. I am um, going to do some Tibetans here. Starting with some spins, but you can twist the waist, move your arms, or do the spins at your own pace. And when you're done, take two breaths. And take your time. I'm going to meet you on the floor. It'll take some time setting up. So if you're still spinning, don't worry about it. All right. In the modified version, the soles of the feet are on the floor. Head, neck, and shoulders come up, and the soles come off the floor. Your hands could also be behind your back to support your lower back, or behind your head to support your neck. In the regular version, the legs are extended. Hands could be in any of the three positions. By your side is the normal one. And head, neck, and shoulders come up as the legs come up. One, up to 11. And when you're done, take two breaths. We're going to get on our knees. Hands on the hamstrings or glutes. You can just rock back on your knees if you can't do back extension. But if you can do so and come forward, one, up to it.
Two breaths. Move down. Modified version, again, the soles of feet are on the floor. Regular version, again, the legs are extended. Either way, put the hands either by the hips or behind you if you have to. We're going to do some reverse tables. And take two breaths. Turn around. In a modified version, you'll be on tabletop, go to Cobra. In the regular version, down dog to up dog, up to 11. And come around, sit down, cross your legs, however it feels right this morning. We will take some breaths. And then we're going to rotate six times one way, five times the other, either sitting up or bending down. That's one, two. On the last round, we're going to stretch out. Five, six. We're going to go the other way. And as we stretch out, we're going to do some box breathing like we just did. In the middle, all the way to the left knee, and then over the right. Here's number five, stretching out, box breath. Same over the left. And then the right. Come on up. Reverse the position of the legs. What was on top goes below. What was in front goes behind. And what was cramped gets rubbed. We're going to reverse the direction we start in six times this way, five times that way. And again, do three rounds of box breathing. Here we go. Monster. Over the right knee. And then over the left.
zamanında. Satnam. Thank you. See you um, tomorrow, Thursday.